What exactly is the metaverse? Everything you never wanted to know about the future of talking about the future. Throughout history, technology made jumps that created entire new industries and economies. Another jump is happening which is called metaverse. To a certain extent, talking about what the metaverse means is a bit like having a discussion about what the internet means in the 1970s. The building blocks of a new form of communication were in the process of being built, but no one could really know what the reality would look like. So while it was true, at the time, that the internet was coming, not every idea of what it would look like was true. On the other hand, there's also a lot of marketing hype wrapped up in this idea of the metaverse. Facebook, in particular, is in an especially vulnerable place after Apple's move to limit ad tracking hit the company's bottom line. It's impossible to separate Facebook's vision of a future where everyone has a digital wardrobe to swipe through from the fact that Facebook really wants to make money selling virtual clothes. Seriously, what does metaverse mean? To help you get a sense of how vague and complex a term the metaverse can be, here's an exercise to try. Mentally replace the phrase the metaverse in a sentence with cyberspace. 90% of the time, the meaning won't substantially change. That's because the term doesn't really refer to any one specific type of technology, but rather a broad shift in how we interact with technology. And it's entirely possible that the term itself will eventually become just as antiquated even as this specific technology it once described becomes a commonplace. Broadly speaking, the technologies that make up the metaverse can include virtual reality, characterized by persistent virtual worlds that continue to exist even when you're not playing, as well as augmented reality that combines aspects of the digital and physical worlds. However, it doesn't require that those spaces be exclusively accessed via VR or AR, a virtual world like aspects of Fortnite that can be accessed through PC, game consoles and even phones, could be metaversal. It also translates to a digital economy where users can create, buy and sell goods. And in the more idealistic visions of the metaverse, it's interoperable, allowing you to take virtual items like clothes or cars from one platform to another. In the real world, you can buy a shirt from the mall and then wear it to a movie theater. Right now, most platforms have virtual identities, avatars, and inventories that are tied to just one platform. But a metaverse might allow you to create a persona that you can take everywhere as easily as you can copy your profile picture from one social network to another. What exactly is the metaverse? Saying what the metaverse is now is like saying what the internet was in the 90s. There was no concept of social media content creators, sharing platforms, trading platforms, platforms that make other platforms, and the list goes on. So technically, the metaverse is whatever we build on it. It sits at the crossroads of Web 3.0, blockchain, and virtual reality. It's the combination of these three elements that make it possible. We need to take a look at the three parts individually. Web 3.0, which is the next version of the internet. Yes, there are more versions of the internet. Web 1.0 looked like a website. It's just a page with a bunch of text and some hyperlinks to more pages with more text. There is no interaction, no user-generated content, pretty much nothing but text on a screen. Web 2.0 is what we currently have now. It's largely community-based. Most of it is user-generated content, is highly interactive, and you can do a bunch of stuff on it. Some examples of early starters of services that we can see in the metaverse are 1 blockchain, 2. AI, 3. Edge computing, 4. Quantum computing, 5. Virtual reality and augmented reality, 6. IoT and IOB 7, 5G and 6G, 8. Robotics, 9. Hologram, and many more. From the above list, let's pick one out of the many and talk briefly about it. Virtual reality and augmented reality. Well yeah, a virtual reality. This seems to be the only thing people talk about even though it's just part of the metaverse. Until holograms become a thing, this is the coolest thing we have right now. It's the natural technological progression. So when someone says, Facebook is building the metaverse, it's fundamentally wrong. How do you make profit from it? So how can you profit from it? You need to become a citizen or a native to this new land. In order for you to see new opportunities, you need to understand how they're created, and you do that by getting educated. If you have no idea how this new thing works and you quickly dismiss it as a dystopian nightmare, you'll be left behind when reality both natural and virtual hits you. The good news is we're in the super early days. 
People are just starting to get educated in this space. There's a lot of room for growth and a whole new pie to eat from. Imagine being a digital reseller. We hope you find this video valuable and as a thank you for sticking, until the end we have a bonus for you. Here are some pretty cool things happening in this space right now. You can buy digital land in video games. For some, it may mean wasting money on pixels. But what it really is, it's the first step in owning parts of video games. Imagine being a digital real estate investor in the next 10 years. Nike just patented digital goods and they'll sell virtual Air Jordans at some point in the future.